What's happening dear people? Welcome to War 10 and the final quarter of the season. We're facing the Latin Wrecking Crew and I've got Jabari, Guardian and CGR for me today. Um, doing things a little bit differently and we're going to have the latest instalment in one of the most spectacularly sweaty near-death solos that I've ever experienced but we'll get to that later we're going to go with Kitty on path six I could have taken Mojo as well but Meth got in there we're taking path nine section two and then we're going for Killmonger on stun immune hazard node uh, he's a rank two sig 20 so anyway we're going to get to Kitty we're going with Guardian because he doesn't crit even though he can on this node when I end my combo with the same as the previous but any hits are going to remove her prowess and it doesn't count towards removing it on the node so I won't get damaged and whatever, whatever. It's a really easy fight. We're going to start with power snap, power start one. So I can start the ramp up nice and easy, get a couple of combos in. I'm going to just bait heavy. I'm not going to parry her because I don't want to give her extra prowess. Get a special one off. Get me some charges. I'm not going to bother with going for another. I'm going to go straight to special two, and that's going to be enough to fry her. And here we go. And she's done. Nice and easy. Always a pleasure to use Guardian. I should rank five in, but I've just got others in the queue for now. Um, maybe, maybe next season. So moving on to path nine now, familiar grounds. Um, I've still got the power start one boost active and we're going to Nova here. Um, Jabari is not the most ideal typical counter I'd pick for Nova, but she's tactic and I'm pretty confident here. I'm comfortable and fully boosted. I've got max deep wounds and yeah, I'm also confident enough to just make use of the power start one and not have to need an invulnerability boost. I do... I ate a couple of specials there in the fight just from missed dexing, but it's really not that big a deal. I'm more than comfortable enough to see the fight through, as we will see. Um, today, I wanted to see how many bleeds we can get up. So uh, let's start counting. There is power focus two here. His special two is slightly less ideal to deal with. You know, just requires some clean dexing, which is fine. I did fail that one there. Uh, also missed his special one, which is great. But we're in the hunt now, and we are plain sailing. We've got 14 bleeds on him. Make use of my counter punch charge there. Get the relic gone, and I don't even have time to heavy him to double the bleeds as he's melted already. Uh, nothing a potion can't heal up with, and we can move on to Jess, which is another really satisfying fight. Um, this has one eye open, so typically you can't parry and hit while stunned, but that is the best way to get Jabari's charges, and it's an easy fight. So I decided to go with the combat region here, which will protect me against the damage I'd take while from hitting while stunned so I can just play normally nice and safe nice and easy and we've seen it all happen before really nothing to worry about the fight and really satisfying again with the number of bleeds I managed to get here so I think we get to 21 but we will see in a minute I think I've taken a uh, Jess Jones every single war this season it's just so easy with Jabari, like just there's no point in. I know Kingpin can do it, and other champs obviously as well. I've got a major glitch there. I got worried because one of our guy, our only death currently in the alliance so far against these guys is because someone um, the screen froze during the fight and it just glitched out and failed on them, which is really unfortunate because otherwise we'd be on for a donut still. So special two absolutely destroys, gets twelve bleeds on. Got lucky that the uh, relic went unblockable there. Hit double it, and yeah, 21 bleeds, and she's destroyed. 
now. Moving on to node 44, Killmonger. I had a really simple plan for this fight. I wanted bleed suicides, I wanted power start one, dex off. I'm going to bait his heavy, punish with my own heavy, get my combos up to get all my judgments. Special two, cosmic power back boosts into special three and clean him up. Might need a couple of goes, but it didn't quite go to plan. Mainly because um because i'm shit basically so we start the fight and immediately realize that on picking my suicides rather than pick bleed suicides i accidentally set poison suicides which is really great so that threw me off then i failed to deal with his heavy and just ate a full combo and then I thought I'd compose myself and eat another heavy. Managed to get the special two off, by which point it comes into poison phase of hazard shift. I'm ticking down majorly with poison damage. Um, also haven't done enough damage yet to get to three bars. I've forgotten really by this point because I'm so panicky that I'm hitting during poison and so getting more poisons on me. Um, got another special two off. I've got 7% down to 6% health, managed to get to the SP3, and knowing that he's got 32% health, really didn't expect this to clean the fight up. But thank God, I was sh shaking like a shitting dog at this point, and already drafting my apologies to the Alliance for nearly having one of the stupidest deaths of the season. So yeah, I'm never doing that fight again, and if I ever have to do that fight again, I won't be making those mistakes again. We've currently got a lot of work still to do, but we are well on the way to hopefully getting a good solid win. Fingers crossed it will stay that way. I didn't die, and I'll see you at War 11. Bye!